Hi guys, Jamie with another tech tip from Team Deets. So today we're going to work on the maintenance screen. So taking a look at the maintenance screen, we have a few items here. We have the insert, this is the main wear item in the system, and we have the nozzle, we have the electrode, and then we have our powder hose. And these are the ones that we're actually going to look at today. So to get in the maintenance screen, you hit the select button twice, and it pops up a series of areas that we can enter. To turn them on, we push it on, we push it both the buttons, and that will turn on the four indications that we're going to measure today. These are measured in hours, or actually these are measured in days. So this is eight days, and one day is 24 hours is what we're gonna measure off of. So we'll get back into it and we'll show. Once this counts down to zero, it's gonna pop up, it's gonna say service right here, indicated on the little cheat sheet right here. It's gonna pop up and say service. That's going to be the indication for you to hit, the, sir, hit the, the buttons here and then find out which one it is. Today we'll look at this one here to start with. To check this, we're going to pull the tool out, we're going to check the gauge, and we're going to test it to see if it's bad on this side. Then we'll also look on this side also and see if there's any oblong wearing, any buildup or anything. And if it is, then we'll take it out and replace it. If it is still good, what we're going to do is we're going to put the, the part back in and we're going to continue to use it. We'll use it for a couple more days. We'll come back and we'll check it again. It may say negative two days. And then we'll check it and we'll find out, yep, it's bad. Then it's time to throw it away, put a new one in. At that point in time, you can hit the plus or the minus and that will reset it back to what I had originally put in, which is eight days. At that point, we would look at it and we'd say we had an extra two days. We could put in here an extra two days of use on it, then you know in your shop that this thing will last 10, 24 hour days, so about 240 hours in your shop before you have to replace it and it pops up service. So moving on to the next one, we do the same thing with the nozzle. So the nozzle, once it starts to wear out, it's gonna get soft and flexible at the front end and that's when you know it's gonna to start to go bad. But this one also, if you drop it too many times, you can damage it and you have to replace it prematurely. But standard wear and tear is going to be about 20 days. So moving on to the next one is the electrode. So you see the electrode on this one? We'll pop up the electrode. And this is going to wear out two different ways. It's either going to wear out electrically or it's going to wear out mechanically. The mechanical side of it is down in here where powder is running across it. There's a small wedge down inside of it. And when, we, when this one wears, it will wear out like a sawtooth. And when it does, it'll produce a pattern out the end of it, out the end of it, and it'll look like little fingers like this, and you won't have a good stable pattern. Or it'll wear out like a moon, like a half-shaped moon inside of it, and it directs most of the powder inward, and it'll cause a more directional, less wider pattern. That's when you know that it's mechanically going bad. Electrically, you can test it, and that's putting a contact on this end and a contactor on this end with a mega ohm meter and you should get somewhere around 28 mega ohm of resistance. And that's how you know if it's electrically good. And then moving on to the last one is the powder hose. So the powder hose we have, it's the latest, it's the bottom one, and it's counting down in, day, or in days also. And we say once a year, replace the powder hose. Periodically, it may get a little soft or a little worn out of the edge by the pump. All we can do is just fold it over, cut it in half, you know, cut the piece off of it, throw it away, and then put it back on and continue using the system. The last thing that we have here is all these count down to zero and then go into negative numbers. The bottom one is actually counting up and that's your service timer and it is just continuing going up and you don't reset it at all. So this one here is my demo unit. You can see I have 1.1 days on here, so I have about 25 hours on this system here. This unit is for sale. This is the Q unit. It's the quick color change unit. If you're interested, feel free to give us a call. Thank you much, and have a great day.